I'm just waiting for the good morning starshine. The earth says hello. Hey guys, Clarice here. I have been trying to film this intro now for several minutes and I can't keep, I, I'm unable to get all of the words out that I want properly in sequence. So I'll just tell you from the title, we are watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now, little Clarice grew up on this movie. I did not grow up on Willy Wonka. I say that in my Willy Wonka video. I grew up in school, in grade school, I think maybe like fourth grade or something. Our class read the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory book. Our teacher read it out loud and it took a couple of days. Um, it took like multiple days within the class. And then when we finished reading the book, we had a test and then we watched the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie that came out because it was only a couple of years old. So we just watched it on DVD. And I I remember as a kid really enjoying this one because I like Tim Burton. I like his kookiness. I like Johnny Depp's very peculiar Willy Wonka or his take on the Willy Wonka character. But I remember liking it because it was actually really true to the book. And because it wasn't until years later that I actually saw the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory version that I was like, yo, that one's like a lot more different than the book. Um, so I'm excited to rewatch this today. Now it has been years since I've seen this, but there are definitely moments that I'm going to be quoting because I have seen this movie a lot. So I hope that you guys enjoy. I'm doing a rewatch in for you guys today. To be honest with you guys, I'm watching it because it wasn't quite feeling the best and I thought this movie might make me smile and be happy. So I'm looking forward to it. If you guys are interested in supporting me or like what I do, please consider giving this video a like. Please subscribe. And if you want even further support for my channel, you can click the links down below. I have a Patreon. I offer full length reactions and recently I've opened an entire new tier that is called the Personal Film Request here. So any of you guys on YouTube, if you're ever really hung up on wanting me to watch a very specific movie, you can actually pay on Patreon to get your own exclusive Clarice reaction to a movie that you want. The links are in the description down below and the slots are limited. So you can let me know. And with all that, let's just get into it. It's so kooky. I love it. Honestly, this little CG render experience is pretty nice. Still holds up. Man, I do miss those like Wonka bars. I, just, I think I said the same story, but just the old like movie galleries or what you know is like Blockbuster. I grew up with a movie gallery because we don't have a Blockbuster, but like they had Wonka bars. And that Wonka bar was like marshmallow with fudge and chocolate and like caramel or something. That thing was delicious. I think I had one and I still remember it from my childhood. Man, if anyone knows if Wonka chocolates like still exist somewhere, please tell me. Cause that bar was really good. It was all marshmallowy and stuff. I think that's what I liked most like within the book. He made a lot of chocolates with like marshmallow and like fudge. And I like that. This is a story of an ordinary little boy named Charlie Bucket. Hey there, Freddy. They barely had enough to eat. Charlie Bucket was the luckiest boy in the entire world. He just didn't know it yet. I mean, yeah, he, he really is. Evening, Bucket. Evening. Hey. Nothing goes better with cabbage than cabbage. Hmm. Oh, the cabbage soup. Charlie's father worked in the local toothpaste factory. Mm hmm. All to just be laid off due to automation. Just crazy. Hey. Just the piece I needed. Oh. What piece was it? A head for Willy Wonka. I saw Willy Wonka with my own two eyes. I used to work for him, you know. He did. I love grapes. <laughs> Willy Wonka began with hmm. a single store on Cherry Street. You guys let me know because I do, as mentioned, um, I do remember that this film is a more true adaptation to the book um, than Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is. But let me know what are like some nice tidbits from the book that they do keep in here. This is the first time I've ever watched them seemingly close together. I think I watched Willy Wonka just a couple of weeks ago at the time of filming this. So it's fresh in my mind and I'm I'm kind of interested in seeing these differences. And also, as I mentioned, I love both of them. I think they're both lovely. However, my nostalgia is for this movie. So I unapologetically will praise this movie for certain things that I like about it because it's my childhood and that's okay. Willy Wonka began with a single store on Cherry Street. Hmm. And the whole world wanted his candy. Before long, he decided to build a proper chocolate factory. 
He's so opulent. I love it. Him and Gene Wilder both do this character well. And eventually, we'll see. If you guys want me to watch Wonka with Timothy Chalamet, I will. Willy Wonka was facing problems of his own. The All the freaking others. Cheating, trying to steal his shit. They began sending in spies to steal his Trying to steal his shit. <laughs> because of course it's a secret recipe on red tape. I'm closing my chocolate factory forever. forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it didn't close forever. It's open right now. We saw smoke rising from the chimneys. <laughs> the factory was back in business. Did you see a single person going into that factory or coming out of it? No, because they're held hostage. <laughs> I'm joking. Hasn't someone asked Mr. Wonka? He never comes out. The only thing that comes out of that place is the candy amazing factory that little factory of yours charlie is as close as any of us is ever going to get i mean they've been stuck on that bed for like 20 years so yeah i don't blame them for being a little cynical Good night, Lord, Georgina. nothing's impossible charlie <laughs> no install that belief i grew up on like Freddie Highmore as like a child actor in so many of these things. He just has that sweet little innocent Charlie face, you know? You just like want good things to happen to him because this kid's like been through more shit than most kids, you know? He just has that kind of face. It says like I'm an orphan, but like I'm not an orphan, but I've lived a life. I, Willy Wonka, have decided to allow five children to visit my factory. One of these children shall receive a special prize beyond anything you could ever imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice i remember oh i remember that little montage <laughs> so <laughs> why is she so sexy <laughs> but i only get one bar a year for my birthday he doesn't have a chance i mean everyone has a chance again i get the cynicism Mark my words kid who finds the first ticket will be fat he wasn't wrong <laughs> i'd like to know if this child was actually german Hey, Augustus, how did you celebrate? I eat more candy. Fair. He eats so many candy bars oh a day that it was not possible for him not to find one. Do you be a poker? Oh my gosh. This brat. I started buying up all the Wonka bars I could lay my hands on. From now on, you can stop shelling peanuts and start shelling the wrappers off these chocolate bars instead. Yep. <laughs> no raise. <laughs> Daddy, I want another poo. <laughs> Bruh! Charlie, Mum and I thought maybe you want to open your birthday present tonight. No, oh. no, oh, it's so. Oh. Whatever yeah. happens, you'll still have the candy. Yeah, at least you still get the candy. Hmm. Oh, oh no, Charlie, not your birthday present my candy bar and i'll do what i want with it there you go and he wants to share because he's a good kid the third ticket was found by miss violet beauregard <laughs> icon i'm a gun too mostly but when i heard about these ticket things i laid off the gun switched to candy bars she's just a driven young woman i don't know where she gets it Gosh, I really want to know the direction that Tim Burton gave the woman who plays Violet's mom. It's just she she's playing like insane, um, but like withheld like so well. I don't know the name of the actress, but I always remember her because she does such a great job. It's just like there's just nothing in her eyes. <laughs> it's chocolate manufacturing dates offset by weather and the derivative of the Nikkei index. Most of the time, I don't know what he's talking about. Mm. That actually makes a fair amount of sense. And I 
only had to buy one candy bar. And how did it taste? I don't know. I, I hate chocolate. chocolate. Well, it's a good thing you're going to a chocolate factory, you ungrateful little bu- I'd like to hear what he- I, I, I love British swears, I would have liked to have heard that. But this is a movie made for children. I knew it work. Mm. I got replaced oh, well, by a robot. Uh, toothpaste factory thought they'd give me a bit of time off. Like summer vacation? Sure. Something like that. Aww. You know how you lie to your kids. With the extra money, the factory had decided to modernize, eliminating Mr. Bucket's job. Damn. I'm going to have one more fling at finding that last ticket. Grandpa. <gasps> I did always think this was interesting. The, just the direction to shoot the scene like this. I thought that was interesting. Mm. Well, at least they have extra chocolate. And one quarter for scrumptious fudge mellow delight, please. I know. Forging a ticket. Come on. <laughs> Let's go, Charlie! Let's go, Charlie! It's a golden ticket. You found Wonka's last golden ticket. In my In shop. My shop. <laughs> Listen, I'll buy it from you. I'll give you $50. And a new bicycle. Are you crazy? No. I'd give him five hundred dollars for that ticket. You want to sell me your ticket for five hundred dollars, young man? Nope. That's enough of that. Leave the kid alone. Don't let anyone. Have Literally, go home. You understand? Go home. Thank you. That was the thing that concerned me in Willy Wonka when Charlie finds it because immediately he's hoarded by people, and I was like, someone's gonna jack it. Hide it, Charlie. I'll tell you though, I also think if this old fart <laughs> has been like as as the mom, like as Mrs. Bucket, I'm like, if I've been weighing on these four old timers for like 20 years and this motherfucker could walk the whole time, <laughs> he could have gotten a job. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's a joyful movie. We're not going to think about that. We're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not thinking about that. It's, it's, gonna, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It works out in the end. It's, it's, it's fine. Read this aloud. Let's hear exactly what it says. I shake you warmly by the hand. For now, I do invite you to come to my factory and be my guest for one whole day. You're allowed to bring one member of your family to look after you. Till then... First of February. But that's tomorrow. Then there's not a moment to lose, Charlie. Wash your face, comb your hair, get that mud off your pants. No, we must all try to break. <laughs> Who is going with Charlie to the factory? Mm. I will. We're not going. The woman offered me five hundred dollars for the ticket. I bet someone else would pay more. We need the money more than we need the chocolate. Bruh, this is a child. Uh, this is a child that has too much maturity due to trauma, and I just relate too much. I, Charlie, like it's interesting. It's interesting how n nostalgia is such a unique thing, because I can feel myself like feeling emotional because of this just prolonged attachment I have to this Charlie, um, and how I'm like, oh, because I'm like, oh, he's. He, he understands his situation enough to know that his family needs money more than candy and that candy's not everything. Like, you know, it's just a testament to Charlie's pure heart. But, like, I didn't feel the same with watching the Willy Wonka. I think it's great. But I didn't feel that same level of connection with their Charlie. And I don't think it's on anything he did differently. I think it's just different direction, different storytelling. And, again, I don't have that nostalgia like I do for this one. Because I'm like, oh. Yeah, Charlie, but no, go, it's okay, like, it's okay. Young man, come here. Oh, I forgot this. 
There's plenty of money out there. They print more every day. But this ticket, there's only mm -hmm. five of them in the whole world. Only a dummy would give this up for something as common as money. Are you a dummy? No, sir. Then get that mud off your pants. Exactly, just get the mud off your pants, Charlie. We can't let them know we're poor, okay, Charlie? I gotta say though, they got so lucky that they live next door to the factory. <laughs> Everybody's sussing everybody out. Literally, what in the Freddies? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Magnificent! Wow! <laughs> He's Willy Wonka. Good morning, Good morning Starshine. Starshine. The Earth, the Earth says, says hello. <laughs> Welcome to the factory. I shake you warmly by the hand. Just drop your coach anywhere. <gasps> oh. Mr. Wonka, I'm Valley Beauregard. Oh, I didn't care. Well, you we should care, because I'm the girl who's gonna win the special prize at the end. Well, you do seem confident, and confidence is key. I'm very sold. It's very nice to meet you, sir. I love that, I, I do love the interpretations from both Wonkas that it just doesn't seem like Wonka really likes children. <laughs> or, if he does, he doesn't like most of these children. <laughs> Just love the sense that I'm like, both of these men, they don't, I don't think they like kids. <laughs> I love my chocolate. I love your chocolate. I can see that. You. You're my TV. You're the little devil who cracked the, crack the system. <laughs> and you. Well, you're just lucky to be here, aren't you? Yep. And the rest of you must be there for <coughs> parents. Yeah. <laughs> Moms and dads. <laughs> Dad? Oh my god. Like, what was this angle okay, of then. Wonka's, like, move along. insane daddy issues? <laughs> Gotta say, this chocolate, like, Dreamland, it blows Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factories like display out of the water like this is come on like you can't like i wanted this as a child this shit i could play in here like and the fact that the grass is edible and they eat the grass ah lose your heads don't get over excited just keep very calm the waterfall is most important mixes the chalk no other factory in the world mixes its chocolate by waterfall. Try some of my grass. You can eat the grass. Yep. Of course you can. Everything in this room is eatable. Even I'm eatable. But that is called cannibalism, cannibalism my dear children. And is in fact frowned upon, frowned upon in most societies. <laughs> Again, this like weird demented daddy issues Wonka angle though. Wild. <laughs> Of course they're real people. people. They're Oompa Loompas. Loompas. I went to Loompa Land looking for exotic new flavors for candy. Found the Oompa Loompas. The Oompa Loompas ate nothing but green caterpillars, which tasted revolting. <laughs> it's just... Dude. <laughs> it's such a it's such weird character based mannerisms. I think Johnny Depp is honestly one of the best character actors that we still have alive. 
Um, and I think it's because of things like this, like it's so much in the mannerisms that it's so transformative. Like you really, this is Willy Wonka. I don't know Jack about <laughs> who Donnie, Johnny Depp is. I know his characters. I know the characters that he brings to life. And it's through these small or big gestures that he just imbues in them that also to me, in my opinion, and I'm, I'm biased, but it, it doesn't get to the level of over the top where I don't believe it. And I think that is the sign of a good character actor. Sometimes some choices are just over the top and that's, that's fine, but you can risk the believability of it when you go too much. And I think Deb really rides that line of believable and wacky really well because wacky and whimsy, like doing whimsical stuff is very difficult. It's very tricky because if you don't ride that line well enough, you will become cheesy or cringy or any of those other kind of like, eh, missing the mark. Um, and I think Depp rides that line really well in this movie. Augustus, my child, that is not a good thing you do. Gosh. Hey, little boy. My chocolate must be untouched by human hands. Ah! Well, it's all ruined now. There he goes. Yep, there he goes. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I still like the songs. <laughs> I feel like people probably shit on this movie a lot. And I feel like, I don't know, you guys tell me. I know that this movie is not the most liked between the two, but again, I really like this movie. And I like these songs. I don't, I'm not gonna say they're like Danny Elfman's best, but I can see the, the Danny Elfman influence. I think it's great. It just fits the right vibe for Tim Burton. Like it, it, it really does. But I just, I, I like the songs. And that's fine. I don't feel better about that. So I ain't gonna apologize. I like the song. Where is my son? Where the hell is that pipe go to? I want you to take Mrs. Gloop up to the fudge room, okay? Help her find her son. Are the young Gloopers really joking, Grandpa? Of course they're joking. That boy will be fine. <laughs> oh, you know, like how you lie to children. I gotta say, though, nothing ever is going to beat the acid trip that is the boat ride in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. As much as this one's nice, it's not nearly trippy or traumatic enough. Onward. Here, try some of this, it'll do you good. You look starved to death. It's almost like he knows he's poor. Do you even remember what it was like being a kid? Oh boy, do I. It was traumatizing. <laughs> Why does his past have to be freaking like gothic and traumatic as fuck? I know it's Tim Burton, but still. Trick or treat! And who's that under the sheet? Little Willy Wonka. Like, oh my God, he looks like he's in a reverse bear trap. Willy Wonka was the son of the city's most famous dentist, Wilbur Wonka. Man, I do miss Christopher Lee, man. Oh, caramels. They'd get stuck in your braces, wouldn't they? All this chocolate. Some children are allergic to chocolate. I could try a piece. Really? But you mm. might take a chance. My gosh. I mean, I gotta say though, at this point, if you don't want him bringing back candy, why let him go out trick-or-treating in the first place? Why let him go trick or treating at all? Yeah, see, like, this is fun. This seems like a roller coaster. It's not nearly trippy or traumatizing enough. Inventing room. I love the colors. Watch this. It's a stick of the most amazing and sensational gum in the whole universe. Because this gum is a full three course dinner all by itself. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of gum. Okay. How is it, honey? It's amazing. Roast beef with baked potato. My little girl's going to be the first person in the world to have my a chewing goodness. gum. My goodness. Concerned about the blueberry pie and ice cream. 
that part. Yep. What's happening to her nose? Stop chewing, bitch! I do think the effects on this are pretty cool. You're turning violet. It's solid effects. I think they still hold up now. And I love, I love the addition that her hair transitioned. I thought that was great. I really thought that was great. I forgot it was like that. I've tried it on like 20 Oompa Loompas and each one ended up as a blueberry. It's just weird. But I can't have a blueberry as a daughter. How is she supposed to compete? You could put her in a county fair. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to roll Miss Beauregard into the boat and take her along to the juicing room at once. Okay. The juicing room? What are they going to do to her there? Uh, they're going to squeeze her they're like a little pimple. You remember the first candy you ever ate? <laughs> More trauma. I know it's just like a single chocolate ball, but because of the golden wrapping, I thought it was like a Ferrero Rocher. I'm sorry, I was having a flashback. These flashbacks happen often? Increasingly. Today? I would probably get up and run if I heard that. Squirrels. Yeah, squirrels. These squirrels are specially trained to get the nuts out of shells. Why use squirrels? Why not use impalobas? Because only squirrels can get the whole walnut out almost every single time. Hmm? You see how they tap each one with their little knuckles to make sure it's not bad? I think that one's got a bad nut. Hmm? I want a squirrel. Get me one of those squirrels. How much do you want for one of these squirrels? <laughs> her smiling face. She can't have one. You won't get me a squirrel. I'll get one myself. Mm. I'll have you. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> she's checking to see if she's a bad nut. They're testing to see if she's a bad nut. Oh my goodness. She is this is a bad nut after all. <laughs> no! You out, bitch! Ha <laughs> ha! spoiled ass. All you have to do is just reach in and pull her out. See, like, he knew which key it was. It's earlier. The elevator is by far the most efficient way to get around the factory. This elevator can go sideways, long ways, slant ways, and any other ways you can think of. Oh! I'd rather not talk about this one. I don't get it, but I think it's because I'm filming this at two in the morning and I'm very tired and my brain is starting to stop working. So if you guys get it, let me, let me know. I'm curious. Yeah, because I'd like to know what that was, but I'm sure I could figure it out if I thought about it, but my brain is not in any position to think about anything for too long. Why is everything here completely pointless? Candy doesn't have to have a point. Candy is a waste of time. <laughs> no son of mine is going to be a chocolate here. I mean, again, why? <laughs> Switzerland, Bavaria, mm. the candy capitals of the world. Yeah, that actually makes sense. But I won't be here when you come back. He's a literal child. It's literally flags of the world. Like he just went out to walk at like the mall or something. Why did his dad's building up and who demolished the building? How did he not tell his son? What kind of dad was he? Not just that he's gone. The entire building is gone. Like, <laughs> what? Put these on quick and don't take them off whatever you do. This light could burn your eyeballs right out of your skulls. I do love the design of those, of those goggles. I think they're pretty great. Television. 
chocolate. First off, there's a difference between waves and particles. It would be like nine atomic bombs. Bring in the chocolate. Nice. It's gone. Here it comes. <laughs> I wonder because of the apes, is this, is this part of 2001? Is this part of 2001 A Space Odyssey? I have never seen 2001 A Space Odyssey, but I know this segment of it because, you know, it's everywhere. But I'm wondering, are, are those the apes from 2001? Y'all let me know. If so, I, I never noticed that before. That's cool. That's, that's really cool. And if you guys want me to see 2001, I would like to see it for you guys. Y'all just let me know. Just a picture on the screen. Scary cat. <laughs> you take it. You take it. Just reach out and grab it. <sighs> Honestly, forget VR. I want virtual food. Like, I want to be able to eat the food that I see in the videos I watch. With how much food content I watch, I want to be able to eat it. <laughs> so can you send other things? Say, like, breakfast cereal? Or could you send it by television if you wanted to? Of course you could. What about people? Well, why would I want to send a person? They don't taste very good at all. <laughs> don't you realize what you've invented? I was going to say, I'm like, funny to think that he's like, they don't taste good at all. I'm like, he says that so matter-of-factly. Like, he definitely knows what people taste like. <laughs> don't you realize what you've invented? It's a teleporter. It's the most important invention in the history of the world. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's, he's a child. He's a, he's a kid. He's a kid. I do think this is some of the most fever dream that this movie gets. Yep. I, I love all the influences. I love that the television room has a whole bunch of TV, uh, television and film influences. But there is no other way. I mean, it's your fault, Mike. Nobody told you to do this. Boy, is he gonna be skinny. Taffy puller. My gosh. I want you to take Mr. TV and his little boy up to the taffy puller, okay? Stretch him out. There's still so much left to see. Now, how many children are left? Mr. Wonka, Charlie's the only one left now. Yeah, it's just Charlie. What happened to the others? You killed them. <laughs> oh, my dear boy, but that means you've won. But well, luckily for us, we have the great glass elevator to speed things along. Anyone else ever uh, done that? Oh, Up and out! What kind of room is that? Hold on. Well, here we go. Up, Up and out! This <laughs> man is iconic! <laughs> I like that they keep oh. this from the book because this is something that I was waiting for the first time that I was watching Willy Wonka um, and being like, oh, where is it? Because they don't show the kids at the end. I remember in the book, like they show what happens to each of them when they come out of the factory. And I always thought that was Please funny. don't eat your fingers. But I taste so good. Much more flexible now. Yes, but you're blue. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Where do you live? Right over there. That little house. Do you think they'll be back? It's hard to know, dear. <laughs> and then he just ruins their roof. This is Willy Wonka. He gave us a ride home. He says Charlie's won something. I invited five children to the factory, and the one who was the least rotten would be the winner. Are you ready to leave all this behind and come live with me at the factory? Sure, of course. I mean, it's all right if my family come too. I mean... Oh, my dear boy, of course they can't. That's... I gotta say, I never thought of it this way until now, maybe because I haven't seen this movie as an adult. I don't know if I've seen this movie now, like, as an adult. I, I feel like I was still in high school the last time I watched this. But <laughs> now thinking about it, if a grown man said to my family, again, like thinking is like Charlie's mom or something. If a grown man showed up in my house and said, no, of course you can. You're going to leave everything behind and come live with me in my factory. 
to take my kit like of all the things i feel like that's the most actually terrifying one because i'm like whoa 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 wonka whoa whoa back up back up wonka i don't think you realize <laughs> how it looks buddy like i'm sure your attentions are good but i don't think you know how it looks and i think somebody needs to tell him that so if i go with you to the factory i won't ever see my family again then i'm not going yep he's got too good of a heart there's other candy too besides chocolate i'm sorry mr wonka I'm sure you won't change your mind? I'm sure. No. Things are going to get much better. Hey. Oh, okay. His parents fix a hole in the roof. Okay. His father got a better job at the toothpaste factory, repairing the machine that had replaced him. Things have never been better for the Bucket family. The Aww. same could not be said for Willy Wonka. They actually got better. Candy's always been the only thing I was ever certain of, but now I'm just not certain at all. Why is he? Well, actually, no, not. I'm not going to ask why is he in therapy. He most definitely needs therapy. It's just the inclusion of it in this movie. <laughs> I'm very glad that Wonka's in therapy, but I do think that that Oompa Loompa is probably not certified or licensed. So that might be why he hasn't properly helped any of his issues. It's not the Oompa Loompa's fault. That's just it, isn't it? I make the candy I feel like, but now I feel terrible, so the candy's terrible. You're very good. <laughs> As someone in therapy, that usually is it. It's just your, it's just, sometimes it is just your talk therapy and you figure the things out for yourself. And then your therapist is like, good, we're making progress. <laughs> Willy Wonka. That's the one. I thought he was great at first. But then he didn't turn out so nice. Hmm. He also has a funny haircut. I do not. What makes you feel better when you feel terrible? My family. Hmm. He's like, ew. <laughs> what do you have against my family? It's not your family, Charlie. It's just... Whole idea. It's just... It's parents. <laughs> you know, they're always telling you what to do, what mm -hmm. not to do, and it's not conducive to a creative atmosphere. Usually they're just trying to protect you because they love you. If you don't believe me, you should ask. <laughs> How? But it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I knew this was coming. I just want to know, like, did his dad discover teleportation like why not why not you have an appointment no but he's overdue i haven't seen my cuspids like these since willie hi dad all these years that you haven't flossed not once <clears throat> fair I think it's interesting how they both wear gloves. And they're both very, again, concealed. But... But, let's take that back, though. Christopher Lee has no reason acting as good as he's acting in that close-up. He has no reason to be that good! <laughs> Look at this! I mean, I get, I, I, I get what Deb's playing here because it's still like, it's still Willy and it's still Wonka and he's still like all this. But like Christopher Lee is fully in that moment, man. It was on this day that Willy Wonka repeated his offer to Charlie, who accepted on one condition. You smell like peanuts. I love I peanuts. peanuts. Oh, thank you. You smell like old people, people. and soap. And soap. Hey! <laughs> mm. Aww. Things Willy did get better for Charlie. Charlie. Wanted a chocolate factory, but Willy Wonka got something even better a family. Life had never been sweeter. Mm. Come on! It's. Oh, come on! It's so great! 
great. It's, it's so great. Alrighty, guys, that was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I had so much fun rewatching that. It really had been a long time since I'd seen it. There's so many different parts that are so quotable just because there's such memes. There's such great memes. I really enjoyed this. It was a fun little trip down my nostalgia lane, and it also reminded me of little bits and pieces. I like how the story is told here, that it builds just a little bit more with the buckets, um, with the bucket family, with Charlie. It really focuses is in a lot on his pure heart um and i think freddie highmore as a, for a child actor i think he does a really good job at really selling a lot of the more emotional beats of this film and i really enjoy that i kind of relate to that and just um it just makes me like oh you just like you want the best for charlie and i love that i like the happiness of how it ends like i love that it's really nice and happy i know that willie uh, willie wonka and the chocolate factory also ends happily but i just like that this has a little bit more development even if that subplot of Willy Wonka's daddy issues is part of it, I'm still, I still like it. I like it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this with me. This was such a great time. If y'all want to keep watching any other videos of mine, you can click over here or over here. And as you guys remember, I wish you all the best. I wish you love, happiness, and all the wonderful things in life. You deserve it. And I will see you guys next time. So take care, everybody. And bye-bye.